Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. So, I'll be honest, I went through so many different games that I just gave up on a whole bunch of them before just finally deciding, you know what, Warrior World, that'll be a lot better. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, so first, because first I was going to do Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, uh, that didn't go, like, it, I completed it, but I wasn't proud of the final product, so I decided to scrap that. I then tried Mario Kart Arcade GP2. Uh, yeah, that didn't turn out well, because I, because, to put it this way, one of the court, I had to, it took me six, six tries just to get one of the courses done, and at that rate, I was just in a bad mood, and I don't like being in a bad mood when I record, uh, I don't like being in a bad mood, bad mood when I try to record something, and then I tried Jazz Punk, and I was like, and I missed a few things, uh, and I was like, eh, just didn't feel, didn't feel like restarting from that point, so I was like, you know what, screw it. Time for me to redo Warrior World, because this is actually not the first time I tried recording Warrior World. Uh, so the... Oop, let me, you know what, let me just the, uh, the video right there. Uh, normally I don't like doing that uh, in the middle of, uh... Normally I don't like, uh, doing that in the middle of the recording, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. Not a lot of people watch my videos anyway. Uh, but that being said, yeah, so, a long time ago, before the, a long time, a uh, long time ago, before I did Luigi's Mansion as Let's Play number six, I would say? Like, anyway, Warrior World, but, like, originally I was gonna, up, I did, like, a full take of Warrior World, and, I mean, it's completed, but I wasn't proud of the final product. So, I figured, well, might as well redo it, and... I mean, like, especially with the upscaled, uh, textures and everything on the Dolphin emulator, so... Uh, with that being said, let's give it a go. Uh, this is also gonna be a 100% run. Because in the original Warrior World take, uh, I beat this, beat this game, uh, 100%. Anyway, long ago, there was an evil black jewel that fed on the wishes of people, turning their sires into power. This dark jewel gave birth to many evil spirits who then tormented the good creatures of the world. Then, just when it seemed like evil spirits would overrun the land, the sprite legs of the sacred forest ensnared the black jewel and hid it, hid it away deep within their ancient ruins. But over time, these events were all forgotten. One day, and one day, a greedy treasure hunter stole the jewel from the ruins. Ooh, free at last! I'm junk full of power! I think I'm gonna turn all this green stuff jewels into evil spirits! <laughs> And then... There it is. Meanwhile, Wario over here... <laughs> he, 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 he is so... He is so gleefully happy. Look at him. He's just laughing up a storm. And then... Uh, disaster strikes. Wow! Yeah! I love that sound. <laughs> And there we go. So, Warrior World. So, so obviously I played through this game, beat it before, and all that. Uh, this is one of my childhood games uh, back in the day. This and Luigi's Mansion. These were my two favorite games of all time. Period. Because you know, I grew up on the GameCube, whatnot. But yeah. Anyway, let's. Anyway, so what are the controls of this game? Obviously, you can move around. Uh, the A button is jump. B is the, uh, your, uh, your, your one-two punches. Uh, R is your shoulder, is your, uh, your shoulder bash is what I like to call it. Some people call it the dash attack, the, uh, the shoulder tackle. It has a bunch of different names. Uh, pressing jump during it gives you the corkscrew conk. And there's a few other moves you can do. Not, not really a whole... Uh, Z, Z and L opens up Wario's, uh, mouth like this. Hello, my name is Wario. I swallow coins for breakfast. There we go. Yeah, so you can do, uh, you can do some funny stuff like that. Anyway, here we go and do the first level. So, this game is a mix of a platformer and a beat-em-up. 
Let me drink, take a squig, squig of water. It's just a mice. Anyway, yeah, so beat him up platformer, which is why he gets punched. Uh, first off, we're going to go up this uh, ladder here. And, I mean, there's quite a few things here. Uh, a bunch of enemies to punch. Uh, so Wario has three different types of grab. Or, uh, like, throw. You have the wild swing thing, which is uh, spinning your control stick around. You have... You have the pile driver. And then you have the... Uh, and then you have the, uh, I forget what the, what the actual name of this is called. I think it's called, like, the, uh, the, the, the Power of the World or something like that? I don't remember. Anyway. This is one of the many collectibles in this game. Uh, collect treasures to activate games to tra for transfer to your Game Boy Advance. These are, so, what are these games? Eh, they're just demos for War for WarioWare, which hasn't come out at this point in time yet. So, yeah, with that being said, uh, yeah, we won't be doing that because there's no way to do the, uh, the Game Boy Advance transfer. Or at least not yet. Not sure how that works. But anyway, so yeah. Yes, I would, I would also consider this game a collectathon because there is a lot of collectibles. They're not required to, uh, to advance. Like, you could skip all the collectibles, but there's a lot of collectibles in this game, so I guess I'll count that as a collectathon. Wario, huh? Hi, ah, I've been waiting for you. I'm one of the Spritelings of the forest. I have really bad news. That evil black jewel you stole is sucking up all the negative green energy swirling around, around in your castle. <coughs> and terrible things are starting to happen. Honest. If, if you want to survive, press the A button to jump and the B button to punch. Also press the B button to pick up and hurl a uh, knockdown monster. Practice up, okay? That's, so there's our second second collectible, uh, Sprite Lights. Now there's five in each level, ten in each world, and if you want to get a good ending, you have to collect all of them. Everything else, uh, all the other collectibles don't really matter. The uh, the treasure allows, gives you uh, ga free Game Boy stuff. This right here uh, is a gold pieces of a gold Wario statue. Uh, if you want to, if you definitely want to make sure you can get through the other levels, you might want to collect all these because these give you extra health. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, so of course, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be doing a, uh, one, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this 100%, which means collecting everything. So I will be, now some of the, uh, sub areas, which we'll get to those in just a moment, in some of the sub areas, uh, there might be times where I have to, uh, make jump cut and, uh, complete it off, on my off time. Sometimes, because sometimes there are puzzles that take too long to explain how to complete, that sort of thing. So, please do bear in mind that when that happens. Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. You have a ground panel. There we go. Let's uh, climb up here and grab uh, grab you. What? Let's check out what we got there. We got a diamond. Uh, I mean, I guess I guess it kind of looks like a diamond. Yeah. So you remember that sucky thing? Yeah. That you can suck up coins with that. Hold up. Is this uh, coins? Nope. That's health. Uh, health in this game is garlic. Makes sense, right? Fun. And we got ourselves a ruby. Let boil ropes, bombs. Like every time I hear rubies, I just think of I just think of uh, Morshu from uh, Soda CDI. Well, specifically, Link faces the evil because that's the one where Morshu appears in. I should probably refill my water soon. Anyway, down here is... Oops, let me 
fall down. There's no fall damage in this game, so jump off as many cliffs as you like. Well, well, I think that was a great assault because there is another mechanic that I have yet to explain. Anyway, let's get this one right here. Punch. Let's see. Opal. All right, then. Don't know what an opal. Well, I guess my jump button. I guess my jump got eight. Oh well. Yeah, so, another thing is that I might have to replay the levels or a bunch of times just to collect everything. Like, I know that's probably gonna... I know that's probably gonna happen for... the one ice level. Because some collectibles... So, like, I'll explain to that when we get there, but... Some of the ice level... The ice level is... I would probably say it's notorious for requiring you to replay it through over and over again just to get everything, since... Like, you have to, like, go down the right slide, so... That might take a few tries, that might not. It really kinda depends. Uh if that and anyhow, if I if I keep if anyhow, if I keep missing, I would pro I'll probably just jump cut through when I actually uh, get it. Anyway, these are the sub areas. So each up uh, so levels have a bunch of these, and they're normally little challenges. Like this one's pretty easy. So like you just you just have to jump on these things. Stay on them, they fall. Now, here's the other thing. I'm gonna try and collect all these. Again, these are- It's not required to collect all these, but... In the definition of 100%, uh, you have to collect every single one of these, so... I'll be doing that. Anyway, here's this guy. Garlic! Don't you love garlic? Delicious garlic restores health. Listen, you big oaf. If you've got the courage to take me on, I I guess it's okay to sell you garlic. So essentially, to get, to get garlic, you just deck this guy in the face and he'll give you garlic. Now, I haven't taken any damage, so I have no need for that. There we go. That's how the uh, coin thing works. We got ooh, another thing. There we go, then. So, platforming. Alright, so, right here. Make sure there's nothing here. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. How are we looking right now? We got half the pieces, and it's just Wario's floating, uh, floating head and some legs. Some stubby little legs. Uh-oh! Also, I'm gonna say, uh, Wario has the best, uh, voice lines in, uh, in this game. Like, I think, I think this is one of Char- Like, other than Wario Wear Gold, where Charles Martin Day just flat out did voice acting with Wario. I think this is, I think this is definitely one of Charles Martin Day's, uh, it's up there as one of Charles Martin Day's best performances as Wario. Alrighty then. Alright, that's that. And simple enough. Or go for those flying enemies, let's see. Yep, uh, if enemies go too far out of their area, they'll just uh despawn. Let's pick up one of these things. They're long, and they can defeat, uh, enemies. If one warrior starts flashing blue, he can just go ahead and just, uh... There we go. Might as well punch that. Uh, yeah, these guys, uh, respawn. Let's just go down here, punch you, grab you. What are you? Amethyst. Well, I mean, at least it actually looks like Amethyst. Alright, here's our next gold piece. So we have five out of the eight. Uh, also, the gold pieces will always be eight. 
there's never going to be like nine gold pieces or uh, or like ten. So let's, uh, let's just punch you open. Mario, are you using the B button correctly? First, hold down the B button for a dash attack. Just face the direction you want in charge. Oh, one more thing. While holding a monster above your head, hold down the B button. Megatoss, that's what it's called. Before game on, yep. Yep, we get that. Just just basic tutorial stuff. You know, ignore the big dino man for now. Hold on. Let me go blow my nose real quick. Ugh, I do not know why I'm so stuffy today. This is not normal. Amber, alright. Wait, Am wait, Amber says stone? Eh, whatever. Come on. There we go. Alright, we got another sub area over here. Uh, how are we doing on the, uh... Okay, we got... Well, we have enough to fight the balls. Alright, let's check over here. There we go. Okay, this one did not have this one. Okay, this one did not have a uh, gold piece, but it had a uh, a chest. Which would now the chest can be one of three things: gold, uh, health, or a bomb. A lot of the sound effects in this game are actually pretty good. All right, uh, all right. This I think this one right here is the uh, I missed. I missed again. There we go. Yep, this one's the challenging one. Well, challenging one. Well, challenge is kind of a, uh... Yep, this one also didn't have a gold piece. But yeah, I think of all the ones in this first level, I think that's the most challenging one. Mainly because, mainly, well, in my eyes, because when I was younger, I had no idea how to complete that. I only found out when I was doing the, uh, the old Let's Play of Warrior World that I that I uploaded a few episodes and then just kind of deleted so I can redo it. I don't, th I don't think it's a, I think I, I think I officially deleted them. Let's see. Yep, so other than those pillars, we also have the, the big warrior statues. Woo. Yep, each enemies have their own attack. The sound effects in this game are also so good. Also, there's no fall damage, so you don't have to worry about that. Let me get me back up. Actually, did I have a... Yeah, alright, so we're only missing three treasures. Uh, one gold piece. Alrighty. Uh, Sapphire. So we're only missing two treasures. Alrighty, what do you have to say? Careful, Wario. All the cliffs are deep chasms around here. And all, all the cliffs and deep chasms around here are really, really dangerous. If you fall, you'll land in the Unithorn Slayer. Scary. You'll lose coins as long as you're in the Unithorn Slayer. So if you fall in, you better hurry up and find the escape spring before you go broke. So, you might be wondering... What's the money for other than buying health? Uh, if you have enough money, you can actually buy yourself back into the level. Like, use your money to give yourself a, uh, an extra try. So it's very... So it's very important to collect every single, uh... It's, so it's important to collect every single piece of money you see. Alright. Wow, that was so hard. Am I right? Yep, so... Is that everything? No, I'm missing two crystals. Sorry, then. Well, I gotta figure out where those two are. So, these bridges. No matter which one you go for, they always break. So... So there's no guessing. Anyway, Unithorn's Lair. Uh... Huh. I guess I got really lucky there, huh? All 
Uh, yeah, so when you're so when you're in the Unithorn Slayer, uh, basically it's a mad dash to find the spring. Uh, dang! So, so picking up a bomb, or like, so most of the boxes will always, boxes will have two things. The spring, nothing, or a bomb. That's actually three things. Anyway. Actually, no. Actually, no, it is two things. Nothing is not an option. So either the spring or a bomb. Uh, the Unithorns hate bombs because when you open the bo when you open up a box that had a bomb, they they get startled. So some, which also stop, which also temporarily stops the uh, stops them from moving around. I think it also slows them down. But I'm not sure about that uh, latter part. But so if you get a bomb, something's a good idea to just throw it into the water where it'll, it'll explode and then open up another box to stun them again. So you want to make sure about that. Hey, there's the gold, Wario. If you found enough red diamonds, the stone doohickey blocking the way will vanish. Also, I like some of the names of these uh, items or things. The, the stone doohickey. Really, really good. Anyway, uh, so if not, the bye-bye balloons can take you back to the start point. Up ahead, the diamonds you need will appear more frequently. If you want to know how many you have, just press the start slash pause and check your inventory screen. Okay, okay. <coughs> <coughs> Oh man. Yeah, my my throat's starting to dry up. That ain't good. Anyway then. Anyway, let's just punch that. I think the last gold piece may be in here. No! Alright, let's see. Let's see. Uh let's see, that should work. Uh Oh, yeah, every time you, uh, jump into a wall. It's this wall. I think that's funny. Uh, let's move it. Okay, that, okay, that'll do it. Yep, that'll do it. Huh, there's no gold piece. And another health, huh. Alright, let's just punch, uh, through this way. Uh, run past these guys. Those enemies don't really... You know what? You do not have to kill every single enemy. You can just kind of run past them. They're just they're just kind of there uh, doing their own thing. They ain't bothering nobody. There ain't nothing over there. Well, but hit that button. All right. Uh, it, it, it's probably in here. Probably. Yep. There we go. This one's very simple. Just jump, jump. Wow, I still took. Wow. Ah, I'm sure I can. Well, there's. Well, there's. Well, the garlic guy is. Is at. Is at the. Uh, the boss point. So, there we go. And we just have to open up those last two chests, and uh, that's uh, the first level. 100% uh, completed. Punch. Jump back here, fall back down to the Unithorn player. Are we that like? All right, so. Do 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 point. Yeah, like like stuff like that is is how you can uh, stop them. Man, I'm really unlucky here. There we go. Yeah, see? Unithorns didn't really do anything because I kept opening up the boxes, purposely exploding the bomb and stunning them. So, yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. We got all the treasures, so we got Topaz and Emerald. There we go. Alright, let's just punch you. There we go, and each garlic gives you a full heart pack, so very useful to, to consider. Uh, we got everything, so the only thing left is to fight the boss. Let's see if we can do the speedrun trick. There we go. Kind of. First boss. One of my favorite bosses, actually. Because he's just... He's just a funny lad. The, the, uh, the, I think his name is called the Green Menace. Dude, dude, dude. So he'll just kind of run around. Trying to get you. Bop, bop, bop. 
box. All right. Let's see. Let's uh, let's do a wild swing day. Why not? There he is. Bop. Bop. And the trick here is that if you can get him to fall off. <laughs> well, that works. Yeah, if you can, if you can, if you can just get him to fall off purposely. Yeah, yeah, like that. And yeah, that's how you deal with that. That's how you, you deal with that guy. Ugh. He's a funny lad, I love him. And just like that, the first level's completed. Yes, you did it, Wario. And yep, there we go. And just like that, I got half a heart. So now I have four and a half hearts. So, like I said, it's important to collect all those gold statues. Save data. Uh, let's see, do I have to it? Uh, you know what, let's just end the episode here. So, if you guys... So, I guess that's the end of the episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed the content I do, please sub please consider subscribing. Because I would really appreciate it. Let's see if we can, uh... Let's see if we can get hit, hit uh, 100 subscribers. Right now, I'm at, like, 43 at the time of recording right now. I don't feel like checking, but yeah. If we, if, if we can hit 100 subscribers, that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, till then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we'll be doing, uh, Greenhorn Ruins, which also has the best song in this game, by the way. Uh, yeah. Until then, I'll, I'll see you guys, uh, on the flip side. Buh-buh!